This is the moment thousands of Patriots fans have been waiting for as I speak. Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the rest of the Patriots will storm the streets in the only way they know how, in duck boats. Watch out for the little guy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kissimmee, Florida at Astros Camp. I'm Mike Lucas. We spoke with Astro General Manager Jeffrey Lunau earlier today. He spoke to us about what makes Jose Altuve so good, and it could be because he's been defying the odds his entire career. In Game 3 against Cleveland, the Celtics played hard, aggressive basketball in front of a chaotic Garden crowd. But much like Games 1 and 2, Cleveland was a team that played with more poise, and that's why Boston trails in the series three games to none. Today is the last day the Seattle Seahawks will be speaking to the media before Super Bowl 48. And let's just say they didn't hold anything back. The Patriots team model all season long has been do your job. And now with one game left to go between them and the Lombardi Trophy, it's changed ever so slightly. Now it's finish your job. That's exactly what the Patriots plan to do next Sunday against the Seahawks. Whether you're Michael Jordan or a junior varsity bench warmer, every basketball player's career comes to an end at some point, at least to an extent. Jack Barrett's days of representing his school may be over, but the 29-year-old's love for the game is as strong as ever. A bat is a baseball player's livelihood. That's your weapon. You know, it's your, uh, your everyday work. But not every bat is made the same. Ashwood had been the most common type of bat. The Ashes advantage is it's got flex to it, just like a golf club. You come through and it's bending back and it whips forward at the point of impact. Then 18 years ago, maple wood bats burst onto the scene. Maple came along, it's harder than ash, and the growth lines are the same strength as the rest of the wood, so it doesn't matter where you hit the ball on the bat. Now the company B45 is trying to change the bat game. Our company brought a new species of wood to Major League Baseball, yellow birch. Maple wood is strong and firm, ash is flexible, but Kramer says the yellow birch wood used in the B45 bats combine the best of both worlds. Our company hypothesized that the yellow birch, which is a provincial tree of Quebec province, would make for a better bat because knowing the fibers of the bat, it could be made as hard as maple but have flex like an ash bat. All-star catcher Jonathan Lucroy and Boston Shane Victorino are two players who have made the switch to yellow birch. Well, everybody has their own opinion on what, what, what a bat uh, should feel like, but you know, for me, it's about controlling the barrel, uh, having a good feel, and you know, understanding that uh, you know that's that's the thing that I go to work. That's my bread and butter. This year, more than 30 major leaguers will use B45 bats, which are similarly priced to maple and ash bats. For WEBN, I'm Mike Lucas. Baseball games are taking longer than ever, and new MLB commissioner Rob Manfred is doing everything he can to speed them up. Let's face it, if, if you're a family or if you're you know, on a date, whatever it is, a two hour and 30 minute game is more appealing than sitting through a three hour and 30 game. The new rules include limiting on-field meetings and fining players who step out of the batter's box. They're even experimenting with a pitch clock in the minors. However, not everyone has noticed the change. Oh, I don't even pay attention to it. I don't think I've looked at it once. It's not necessarily the pitchers who are holding up the games, though. A lot of times it's the hitters taking a break between every pitch. A possible solution is, you know what, the clock's at zero, you're free to pitch. And if the batter's not in there, the first time a pitcher throws a strike and now all of a sudden the count's 0-1 and, and the batter hasn't even stepped in the box, that problem will be eliminated by itself. The batter will be in the box and be ready. Major League Baseball may be trying to speed the game up, but most players and managers don't think these new rules will have much of an impact on the game itself. It doesn't affect me that much. Um, in between innings, I warm up pretty quick and I don't tend to really take my time in between pitches. Really the, the biggest change you see is in between innings with just the clock and being able to get out on the field quickly, which, uh, you know, it's not changing the integrity of the game, which is a good thing. Over the past five years, the average length of a baseball game has increased by almost 20 minutes. But those working at the ballpark don't seem to be the ones complaining. I think the people that are worried about the pace of play don't go to the games very often. The, the people that are here every day, the players, the umpires, the managers, the coaches, and the broadcasters, we like being at the ballpark. If all goes according to plan, Manfred's new rules could be in the major leagues next season. For WEBN, I'm Mike Lucas.